Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Fall is right around the corner, and of course that means fall baking, and I wanted to share my favorite recipe for sweet potato pie. It is so easy to make, so let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some sweet potatoes, of course, and I know some people use canned sweet potatoes. I prefer to use fresh sweet potatoes. So what I have here is 2.7 pounds of sweet potatoes that I have um, baked in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour. And you'll know that the sweet potatoes are ready to go uh, when you see the brown sugar, or the sweetness, I should say, from the sweet potatoes starting to ooze out, and when you can just poke a fork in there and it comes out easily. So like I said, I have about 2.7 pounds of sweet potatoes. You're also going to need some eggs, some sugar, some canned milk, butter, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and two pie crusts because my recipe makes two pies. So if you wanna see how these easy pies come together, stay tuned. So I've already peeled two sweet potatoes, but I wanted to come back and show you guys how to peel a sweet potato, just, because, just in case you haven't done it before. So these are still pretty warm um, out of the oven, and so all you're gonna do is just pull the skin off in any areas that have gotten too brown, you're just gonna take them off with a knife. There it is, and just kinda work the skin off that way. And it's pretty easy to peel. So here it is, all peeled. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl there. All right, so I've got my sweet potatoes in the bowl and I'm gonna start off by mixing these up a little bit before I add all the other ingredients. And by the way, I will make sure to put the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna start off by mixing these up for just a couple of minutes. And I'm going to add my stick of butter and it's softened butter. Going to add in my cinnamon and nutmeg my vanilla, my sugar, and my evaporated milk. And we're gonna give this a good mix. All right, so everything is all mixed up. Now I haven't added the eggs yet and that's intentionally because I wanna taste the mixture to see if it tastes like I want it to taste. Um, so let me taste just a little bit of it. It's good, I like it. But this is the point where if it's not creamy enough for you, you can add more milk in. If you want more cinnamon, more nutmeg, anything like that, this is a point that you're gonna to wanna to do it before you add in your eggs. So I'm satisfied with this filling and this is the, this is the texture, the consistency of it, I should say, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my eggs right now. And by the way, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I've got my eggs and my eggs are room temperature too. So my great grandmother used to love to bake and she always told me, make sure that all of your baking ingredients are always at room temperature. Same thing with my pie crust. They are not in the frozen state. So I let them thaw out and they are completely thawed out. So let me mix this up. All right. So I've got my pie crust here and I'm just gonna pour the filling in. Try not to make a mess. And by the way, these are not deep dish pie crust. These are just regular, traditional pie crust.
All right, so here are the pies, and I am going to pop these in the oven. Like I said, my oven has preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and bake them for about an hour. So when they are ready and come out of the oven, I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, so here are the sweet potato pies. I ended up baking these for about an hour and 10 minutes, and they have been cooling on my countertop for a couple of hours. And here they are. Um, it's like I said, it's such a simple recipe and so easy to do. And I cut a slice out so that you guys could see what a slice looks like. And here it is. And I can't wait to dig in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give our channel a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.